Hello One Footballers, I'm back again. Matt is apparently having dinner at the Fellaini's this evening over in China. I am very jealous. But today on One Football, we are discussing Lundberg's first win as Arsenal manager, Guardiola's return to Spain, and some big transfer news for Manchester United, Barcelona, and Liverpool. Make sure to subscribe if you want to and smash that like button. Without further ado, it's time to get this One Football party started. First up, let's talk about Freddie Lundberg's first victory as Arsenal interim manager. It looked like it was going to be another one of those nights where West Ham went through at half time they grabbed a scruffy goal through a bonner but three goals in less than 10 minutes ensured Arsenal took all three points with Nicolas Pepe, Gabriel Martinelli and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang the scorers but was this finally Pepe's arrival in England get into the comments below and will Pepe be a success at Arsenal that's what I want you guys to answer against West Ham United Pepe made the difference on the right wing cutting in from the right on his stronger left foot and bending it into the top left for the decisive goal. He also created a third after some good play, a deflected cross. It dropped to Bemiang and he put the ball into the back of the net. It's now time Arsenal fans to set up the Nicolas Pepe fan club, Nicolas Pepe FC. Another big positive was Gabriel Martinelli who took his goal really calmly. But the tenacity of Martinelli was what impressed me the most. He won three tackles and made eight ball recoveries made a huge difference to Arsenal's attack in an aggressive sense. You'd expect the young Brazilian to keep his place in the starting 11. The only negatives though, injuries to Kieran Tierney and Hector Bellerin might sour what was a really good Arsenal display. Arsenal haven't kept a clean sheet for over two months now and there's rumours that they could look to strengthen by bringing in Chris Smalling, who's looked imperious in Rome, a gladiator, winning 100% of his tackles and winning 92% of his aerial duels in the Europa League this season. Smalling to Arsenal? That is a big question. Moving on to the transfers then, France Football are reporting today that PSG, Paris Saint-Germain are looking to bring in Sadio Mane to replace Brazilian star Neymar if he departs in the summer. Neymar potentially could move back to Spain. Real Madrid, Barcelona have looked like they want to bring him back. Of course, Barca last season went with Griezmann. Next season, we might see Griezmann and Neymar at the club. But Sadio Mane has become one of the best forwards on the planet in the past couple of seasons and been directly involved in 13 goals in 14 league starts this season. Sadio Mane was ranked fourth in the recent Ballon d'Or ceremony, but many people suggesting that he should have been ranked even higher. It's hard to imagine Liverpool letting go of their best forward, but the idea of a th front three containing Sadio Mane, Mario Icardi and Kylian Mbappe is very, very exciting, even if Kylian Mbappe likes to ignore Thomas Tuchel. Elsewhere, Barcelona president Joseph Bartomeu has claimed that the door will always be open for Pep Guardiola to return to the Camp Nou. With Man City 14 points off the top of the league, could the Spanish tactician be tempted in a return to La Liga in the summer? It's starting to feel like the end of a cycle for his back-to-back -back league title winning City side, and the faith that win Valverde at Barca seemingly has dropped off. Barca are always reluctant to part ways with a manager mid-season, but could be tempted to replace Valverde with uh, Guardiola either next summer or the summer after to deliver that elusive sixth Champions League title. Guardiola to Barcelona could see Messi returning to false nine, flanked by Griezmann and Dembele, with a midfield of Arthur, De Jong and Busquets. We'd love to see that. Get some love heart emojis in the comments below if you want to see Barcelona get Pep back. Speaking of Barcelona, the Spanish giants are reportedly interested in bringing Argentine striker Latano Martinez this summer. Martinez is averaging 4.1 shots per game in Serie A this season, which puts him in the top 10 most prolific shot takers in Europe's top five leagues. Presumably Barcelona will see Martinez as their long-term heir to Luis Suarez, whose underlying numbers continue to decline despite a healthy goal return this campaign. Stylistically, the Inter striker would be an ideal replacement for Barcelona's fourth all-time top scorer and could be one of the smartest moves that Barcelona have made in a long time. But anyway guys, thanks for watching subscribe to OneFootball if you're new and we will see you tomorrow and Matt might be somewhere else in the world.